Hi guys, my name's Shaz. For those of you who don't know, I'm the CEO of a games company with over a billion downloads. I've interviewed thousands of people, employed hundreds, and I've also invested in over 100 startups. So let's get into it. Liam's just asked, how do you network if you don't know how to network? Well, for me, knowing what I know now, what I would say is in this day and age, go and create a LinkedIn profile. First of all, right, you've got to be networking for a purpose. What's your purpose for networking? Is it to get good at some subject? Is it to grow a business? Is it to find customers? Whatever it is, right? There's a reason for your networking. Other than if you were like, oh no, I just want to go and play sports, then you just go to your local sports club or you know, people say they want to go clubbing and then they just go to the local city center and go to a cafe or a bar or whatever. For the purposes of expanding your life, growing a business and getting ahead and getting, you know, leveling up, LinkedIn is a great place. I recommend this to loads of younger guys like what's LinkedIn? Because they're all doing Facebook and all of this. LinkedIn, not a social media, it's just a network, right, of business people. You create a LinkedIn profile, you write everything about yourself, find other people that do the thing that you're interested in, add them, write a little paragraph saying why you're adding them, right? Get talking to them, ask them, do your research, then see if you can find anybody on there in your local area. You can even put posts up like, look guys, I'm looking for friends that are interested in talking about startups. I'm always free on a Friday evening and that's what I like doing. Put that up and see if you get any response. The other way would be a business you want doing or, or you like doing or you're going to do. Go and find somebody who's already doing it, right? You might want to open a burger shop. Go and find somebody who's got a burger shop or a pizza shop and say, can I speak to the owner? Just start talking to them and just obviously tell them that you're not going to open right next to them. I'm going to open one of these in my city. I would just like to become your friend. I know a lot of guys would ask with regards to stuff like education, how do I network in that or a certain tech business or like a software business, etc., etc., etc. You know, why would I just start my own business and not reach out to anybody? Guys, if you start your own business and it's your first time and you've got nobody guiding you or anything like that, you're most likely going to fail. And even if you start a business, you need to network because you're going to have to sell your products to somebody or need guidance for somebody or you're going to need products from somebody. So if you're networking, uh, imagine you open a stationery shop, right? I don't think you're gonna find many people on uh, LinkedIn that want to buy a piece of stationery, but there might be loads of people who want to buy it for their office. Next, on there, you might also find somebody who will sell you stationery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So LinkedIn's a great place to network or go to charity events, depending on what you're doing, you you can network a lot there. Go to your local Rotary Club, your local business centers and chamber of commerce, etc., etc. Just I know there's a lot of people that are busy in their lives and they don't help, but that's how you meet people. You just go out there and start talking and asking people, what, what else can you do? Get good at talking and randomly strike up conversations with people. Just saying to somebody, oh, do you need a hand with that? Will get you into their network. Add value to other people's lives. That's how people will appreciate you. Okay, uh, some of the benefits I've had out of networking. When I've made a product and I need feedback on it, because of the network of people I have, I can show it to people already in that industry and what they'll do is they'll give me their honest opinion. And because they've known me so long and they know that Shaz knows his stuff about games, some software, investing, I might think something's a brilliant idea. I might think, oh, I'm going to do this. It's not until I ask my network, guys, what do you think of this idea? Do you think it will work? And I'll get all the different people's different perspectives. When I've needed to help others, I've been able to use my network as well. So I had a friend who needed a hand with something and I just asked another friend, I was like, okay, mate, you're in the games industry. This person needs a bit of guidance because they're going to be looking to sell their business in the future. What do you think? And he told them because he is a guy that buys and sells business is. So somebody who was in my network, they contacted me, they became my friend, they were asking me for help and then I reached out to my network. One guy who had sold a company said, you know what, can you tell this gentleman about how to sell a company, etc, etc. So that's the benefits of a network. And I didn't benefit from it, but somebody who knew me did. And maybe one day they'll be doing something that I'll need a favor and I'll just say to them, you know what, I need a hand with this. And you know, they will gladly do it. But I say, if you want to level up and you want to be the most important person in your network, help everybody else first. Don't look for anything in return. So I do a lot of this. I'm not bothered. I go and help everybody. And in the future, maybe something will happen and they'll help me. Either way, I would help them anyway.
because I just get a great feeling inside. So I left the networking till really late, guys. I just put my head down, started doing my business, you know, loads of hours a week for years. And then eventually I realized that there were benefits to networking. And, you know, I knew quite a few guys that worked for Google and Apple, some guys who worked for Microsoft at one time. And all of these guys knew us because we did something to do with the games. We went at it full blast. One of the benefits of having a network like that, right? A long time ago when they first started doing apps, we're like, oh, can you put this game on the Apple store? And I knew these guys, right? And I was like, yeah, I'll do that. And we benefited from that. And then on the odd occasion, on the Google Play store, people have tried stealing our games, copying them or taking imagery. And I know guys at Google who I've known for a long time and I can ask them for help or their friends for help when somebody is clearly doing something illegal. And then you know what? It's part of their job already to stop people from doing illegal activities on the Google stores. But when you have a relationship with people, they'll be like, okay, definitely get this done for Shaz and his company. Yeah. So that is one of the benefits I've had out of networking with those guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and don't die average. Get your friends to watch these things, these videos and let me know in the comments and what I'm doing wrong and what I should be doing more of. Don't die average. See you next time.